This is The Gaming Rev, and today we're going to be looking at Operation De Geagle This is a long video, you may want to skip ahead using the timestamps below. Got some fine work you've done up there, partner. Glad to have you guys on board. Next step is riding you builders over to fix the engines. Things might go south over there, over in the, uh, west. What? With the gigglers and all. So you might want to arm yourselves. Are you ready to go? I knew I could count on you. Let's roll. folks on the other side. Right behind you. Like diplomacy has failed, partner. Roll out. I'll cover you. As I say, this is a long mission. It took me about 27 minutes to play through uh, when I did it myself, so you may want to skip ahead. Don't skip to the end straight yes, away, though. Um, if you look in the timestamps below, you I show you how to I'll get the you. balloons um, that are floating the chests um, that you'll find by the museum and the clinic so you may want to stick around also keep an eye on the floor there will be lots of bullets I'm going to speed up the time compression now and we'll see uh, what happens I will slow it down for important parts of the plot like we're in this thing. Plenty of gigglers between us and salvation. Now this goes against pretty much every regulation in the book, but we're in dire straits and uh, have you ever fired a gun before? Never mind, don't answer that. Just take this here shooting iron. Locked, hmm. Look, see that little light thingy there? Try shooting it. It's gonna unlock this door, I can tell. Hang up. I feel a bit better about it. So you will notice as you go round, some of the rooms have the same targets in to shoot at that will open the doors. They won't open otherwise. So you just need to come up to where the windows are, get the gun out, aim and fire, and that will release the door mechanism. 
If we go through that turnstile, there's an exit in that direction. This place used to be a mining spot back during the Relic Rush. I came once a long time ago. We're gonna need to swap a car to get through that turnstile. Let's look around. Maybe we can find ourselves one. gaggle of gigglers. Looks like they're all listening to that big fella talk about lizard stuff or something. I remember this place. If we can find two keys, we can get through that door on the opposite side of this room. Let's move.
forgotten, betrayed, abandoned. It is time to take action. Let me remind you of a phrase from our holy book. They, we demand, are not fit to be the rulers of this world. They lie, cheat, and even conspire against their own. It is not enough to simply reach one level. We must destroy them or take them over, one city at a time, until we, the Gigas, are sitting atop the world. Strong words of prophets. Today will mark our first step in that direction. We're going to take over, Sam. And... What the heck is that guy talking about? Take over Sandrock? Hey, who are those two back there? Oh crap, they saw us. What do we do? What did you say about my mother? Deaglers, destroy them. Teach them some respect. The captain! Save yourself, we're done for! Okay, all according to plan. I knew we should have gotten rid of that button. No matter, I'll destroy you myself. On guard! And so we come to the final big boss fight with the Giggler President. Uh, it, it's not that hard, as long as you've got at least a bronze weapon, preferably upgraded. Um, all you need to do is just roll out of his way as he attacks, and then just keep wailing into him whatever you've got. Between you hitting him, and of course between um, Justice shooting him, you should be able to take him out without taking too much damage. Of course, that does depend very much on what uh, you play like. As I say, my fighting style isn't that good. You can, of course, make sure that you heal with the green crosses before you go into this section. So, uh, yeah, you can heal yourself up before you go into going on max health. And at a certain point... Mr. Giegler, President, decides that uh, he's had enough of the fight and he's going to escape. And so, on top of the train, and off to take over Sandrock. Being, of course, uh, young, impetuous and a bit stupid, you decide to go after him. And Justice takes that conveniently placed horse uh, to come after you. One belly button, you're hanging off the back of a train. Um, as you fall, luckily Justice saves you, and uh, as Justice saves you, so the Gigglers actually save Sandra. Yep, by destroying the bridge, they destroyed their chances of invading. Oops. <laughs> so now we come to the final cutscene of this piece. What the heck, guys? I was worried sick. I was so anxious while you guys were in there that I fixed the trolley engines. Uh, you're lucky to be alive. Luck ain't got nothing to do with it. Look, the rest of the Gigglers are running for the hills. We won, Sheriff. Let's go back and talk to the old minister. Uh, I guess we'll have to take that trolley again. Well, I've cut the cutscene with the minister because obviously I think everybody can figure out how to watch a video talk to you. Uh, what I'm going to do now is quickly show you how to take out the balloons that are floating up the chests. Of course, Justice gave you a sidearm and he doesn't take it off you. So when you get there, you go to either the museum or down by the medicine hut, aim and shoot out the balloon. And down falls the chests with those lovely loot. I've found two floating ones so far. If I find any more, I'll put them in the comments below. Yeah. 
So that's it for this video. Please come and join us for our next trip round Sandrock and we'll see what we can discover.